Good morning, YouTube. As you can tell from the title of the video, today we are going to be learning how to make my homemade pulled pork recipe. It is a recipe that was passed down to me from my mom. I have been getting a lot of cooking request videos from some friends, so I'm going to start off with something easy this week, and then we'll uh, get into something more advanced later on. But it is something that you can just kind of throw in the crock pot and then go to work, and it will be done when you get home. Or, since none of us are working right now, really, uh, you can throw it in the crock pot sit on the couch for six hours and then your dinner's basically ready for you. So without further ado, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below and subscribe and let's get into it. Okay guys, so we are here in my kitchen. Um, like I said, this recipe is super, super, super easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with three onions here. Uh, I've already cut the, started the one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut them in half like this, like so. I'll do that with the other two as well. Okay, so now you have a bunch of pieces like this, like so, okay, and then on to the next part. Okay guys, so what I did was I grabbed my crock pot here, it's deep enough so that you can fill. Um, I have a pork rib roast boneless, uh, this one's about $11.30 uh, just from Metro or your local grocery store. Uh, so we'll cut this open here. Don't be scared to get your hands dirty. Throw this inside the crock pot, like so. We are gonna place these all around. So what I like to do is I like to break the onion up and kind of just like layer it all around here. I'll show you right after I'm done. You want the onion to kind of like soak into the meat. Gives it some more flavor, uh, breaks down the meat a bit. like so you're gonna think this is really weird but you actually put coca-cola in here so you want to cover the entire roast and what the coca-cola does is it actually gives the roast flavor but it uh, breaks down the meat as well so it makes the pork easy to pull apart it's the secret ingredients Now that that's done, it's almost a full bottle of Coca-Cola. I just get the no-name brand. It doesn't matter what kind you get. I grab my crock pot, make sure that baby's plugged in, and then I will throw this in here. I will set it on low for six hours. Grab the lid. Okay guys, so as I said earlier, you can leave the house when you are cooking this. Um, so I just had to run some essential errands, grab some groceries and whatnot. So it is about two hours later. There is still four hours left to cook time, um, but I'm gonna give you a look at what's starting to happen. So this is about two hours in. You can see that the meat is starting to cook. The onions are slowly starting to break down. We'll come check back up on it in a little bit. Okay guys, six hours later and we are here ready to take the pulled pork out of the slow cooker. Super, super hot. See that steam? All right, okay. So basically at this point you don't need any of the onions or the liquid inside the crock pot. You just take the roast out like so and use the forks to pull it apart. This is half of the pulled pork that I just pulled and but I'm just going to show you guys quickly what I do here. So after I pull up the pork, I add a barbecue sauce. So I'm using the Bullseye original barbecue sauce and I just add it to the pulled pork and I mix it all together like that. Perfect. Then you just get a little hamburger bun like so. Throw a little bit of pulled pork on the bun. You have mini pulled pork sandwiches for dinner. So that was a quick and easy recipe, guys. Something that you can just throw in the crock pot and leave the house for the day if you need to. Or, like I said earlier, throw it in the crock pot, sit on the couch for six hours, and then your dinner's already done for you. So yeah, so that is pulled pork sandwiches homemade by you. 
and uh, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, we'll see you guys soon.